Hi everyone, I'm Coach Jen from Coast Week Labs and this is and we are many months into the pandemic and we're a little bit sad because we haven't been able to see Alexander's grandparents in a long time. And so what we're going to do today is we are going to code an awesome scratch project for grandparents. I'm sure your grandparents would love to hear from you and they want to see all the awesome stuff that you know how to do with code. So let's go ahead and get started. So first what we're going to do is put a backdrop of you with your grandparents of who we're going to send this to. And so I put it in the middle and I got it. So true. she's going to make so you'll notice I already put it in the downloads folder. So you need to actually find out where the image is stored so you can upload it into your project. Importing. Oh, there you are. Um, so Alexander wanted to put, who's that? Nano. Nano into his project. So we have Nano there. If you created just a brand new project, you'll have a scratch cat here instead. So once you have this, you can really customize it however you want. And what do you think the title of our project should be if it's for Popo and Lumbo? Um, we miss you? We miss you? Okay. So we can go ahead and do that. Because I just edited the backdrop, right now it says no motion blocks. So this is the code area for the backdrop. But I'm not actually coding the backdrop right now. I want to add some code to Nano. So I'm going to click on Nano right here. So let's go ahead and have Nano talk. Alexander, do you remember, where's the when green flag click block? Yeah, orange. Yellow. Yellow events. It's kind of an orangey yellow, though. So when green flag click, so this is the first block that we use for our project. Yes. And now we want oh, Nano oh, to talk. Oh, yeah, we almost always use this at the beginning. So now we're going to have Nano talk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So should we say, what do you want to say to Popo and Lulu? We miss you. We miss you. And let's, we're going to put Popo and Lulu because we, we call them Popo and Lulu because... We speak Cantonese, and that's how you say it. And I already went ahead and have some Chinese characters in here. So it's really cool if you put in Chinese characters into your scratch block, it will work. Yeah, this has both. We miss you, Popo. Okay, so do you want to click the green flag and see what happens? So we click it. Oh, it talks. We miss you, Popo. Do you want to say another thing? Yeah, they're already in the picture. Do you want to ask? Do you want to say, do you like this picture? Do you like this picture? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And also, I'm going to change it to, to three seconds because I feel like two seconds went by really quickly. So I'll add another save block. But do you remember this picture? So in some ways, we're kind of like writing them like a little animated letter. So we miss you, Popo Gong Gong. And then it'll say, do you remember this picture? So should we go ahead and close it out with a love, Alexander? Yeah? Love, Alexander. Oh, I'll put a comma. Alexander. Um, okay. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and look at our video for animate your name, and then you can actually see how you can add words. So instead of we miss you being in a save block, another thing that you could do is you could actually choose a sprite, and you could add the letters for I miss you, and you can animate each of those. So for example, here's the I. If you wanted to add another one, 
we just keep on going like that. M. I miss. And then you could go ahead and spell I miss you. And you can animate however you want. So let's go ahead and finish that up. So we spent a little bit more time adding more sprites as letters to our project. Um, and we added the same code to every letter. So we did when green flag clicked forever. So this is a repeat loop that will make everything inside repeat. We did change color effect by 25. And that's what's making this cool, um, bright color changing effect. There's also a bunch of other things that you can play around with. Um, so go ahead and experiment and really make it your own because then I know your grandparents will extra appreciate it if it really reflects your preferences and personality. So we finished our awesome grandparent scratch project. So that means it's time to cue the virtual applause. Did you have fun? And we hope you did too. If you want more tips and tricks for Scratch, go ahead and subscribe and or take a class with us. Go ahead and check us out at CodeSpeakLabs.com slash register.